Hello my peeps, Justino Do here, back again. Sorry for the delay, work has been hectic, busy, and I felt now as I'm able to get some time to record, I might as well do a video. So, recently Life is Strange came out for free on PS Plus, and me thinking, ah, fuck it, why not? Let's try it, you know. Bought it, downloaded it, played it, I fucking love it. Now you think, this ain't my kind of game, but I played it, it was fucking one of the best fucking games I have ever played. Ever. The music was amazing, the story was phenomenal. Like, this game itself is actual art. Fucking art is what this game is. And, recently they released, uh, the prequel for it, like, they announced the prequel, it'll be released all around August 31st or 27th, I will also be doing a let's play of that. And also, Life is Strange 2 got announced. Unfortunately, it's with a new cast of, you know, characters and that, which... It's whatever, but they do a Life is Strange 3. Hopefully, they come back to, you know, the city, Max, and all that. But, without further ado, let's start our Let's Play of Life is Strange. Yes, we already have it. Thank you. So, I've already done that. I did this just to see the alternate ending. There's two different endings for it. I feel the first one here is more canon than the second one. So we shall go to save game three. Now, for those who know who, who've seen the game, played the game, you know how it goes and that. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything for this is the first time you're playing. Like, like I found this to be a Mace game. I loved it. Unfortunately, it was already spoiled for me a bit because the game came out in 2015. But still, to play the playthrough was amazing. I felt like, you know what? I gotta share this game with you guys. So I'm gonna try to keep the videos to 30 minutes each. So here we are, episode one, part one of season one. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm in class. Everything's cool. cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. Because you feel like, to look at this first. crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. All right, and for us, we have to take a show. Keep that to yourself. 
Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark shh. -sh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I honestly don't know. You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Okay. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was all done right, by Robert Cornelius. Hopefully this doesn't take too you long. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. No, you don't say. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <sighs> yeah. High school. Let's talk to Kate. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Now, I'm not gonna go talk to everybody. Um, Kate, you'll understand why. Probably in the second series. Well, second episode. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Oh, that totally. Shit. I right. only want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. All right, let's go. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't or even not. think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I, have a goal. I didn't, have, I didn't any have any time. Way too much homework. Max. You're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. All right, now we can head out. We're, I think we're all done. We already talked to Kate. Yeah, we did. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying a hundred. You always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Thanks, I feel like you have to have some Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. And she plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. Alright. Let's go in. So She's so fucking shy. You know, the actual, actual story. To all of you, 
Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. No, it's all the music also goes away when she took out her headphones. Like, you know, you're moving the music away. Hiss. Fucking details. Like, all right, what's she saying through you? Here we go. Just relax. Like, Stop just torturing yourself. Photography? Uh, you have a gift. Not really. We do have a gift, and we're about to get it. Fuck it. Ooh, look at the beautiful view. When a door vibe. closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. My butterfly and whoa the fuck is this guy doing? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You are okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> You're the boss. Mental issues. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now Let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? That escalated. Come quickly. on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Bitch, go get shot. But of course, we're gonna learn that girl back here. Very Whoa. important. What the fuck? Yeah, that how, just happened. How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Easy. Time travel. These pieces of time can frame us. In I already world. heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. To now shadow. Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who perfectly this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Diana. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Alright, let's hold on to the line. <laughs> Oh, I guess that's your camera. I picture. did it. Can you give me I an actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine. We can only go back. Anybody? Not forwards. Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Right, Why are this selfie? Because of her images of hopeless faces. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll notice this for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not course, dreaming this. You all know, the it's real. Portrait has been oh, I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? The portraiture has always oh, been a can. vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please... 
Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? Well, then let's do it. Oh, I guess we can't roll that high. Hold our key rewind back. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear to find features. Right. See you there, Victoria. You can learn more when you actually Bitch. finish reading there the assigned there. chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's we great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. The everyday hero. Yes. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but... We can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. By putting yourself out there in the world. Now, I always no gotta talk to her. This is just a All right, let's go save road. this bitch. Uh, I, I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not sure if I have one. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Cool. All right. This is almost like a tutorial, just to let us go. On a bigger road. I Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Oh, really? Well, John Lennon said... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max. You're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Of course you do. All right. To the bathroom! I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Of course. Why would anyone believe us? Yo, Daniel. You know I don't tease. I hate that so it's like, yeah, I got the power to okay, come Max, back in time. retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! 
Don't all right. ever tell me what I to need do. a hammer to break I'm it so open. Sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hell of and to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Yeah, which is pretty good to know. Well, for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I need a hammer to- Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help can. her. All right. Ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Got the hammer. No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. Oh, but it is. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? That's Do not what the fuck freak going on. out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. All right, and the principal ain't gonna let us leave. So we'll you look a little about. stressed out. Are you okay? I'm, I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Well, poor Nathan. I'll make life I just saw Nathan term. Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott her. happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. That's because you're in so it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Of you will. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Mm -hmm. Should I rewind and change my story? No, because then it will hurt us more in the long term. Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. Of course. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Oh, we know. Well, my people played this game. Though. So I can find Kate fast. Talk to her, see how she's doing. Oh yeah, Lauren, he's still in love with his mother, Kate, her currently best friend, and a Gorzar father. Oh, Lauren just texted us. Cool. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. 
Before we go there, we'll look at Kate. We'll get into the dorm. Yeah, I'm honestly not worried about half the other shit that goes on around here right now. Again, this is a list playlist that I want to finish. This is impossible to do that. So we shall go to the dormitories. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Of course, we gotta do that. I think that's Kate over there. We'll go talk to her first. Yeah. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. Awesome. I'm sorry. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. Well, How did you like class today? I don't remember. I guess I don't care about much of anything today. Is there anything... Not Max, so. I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. Yeah, I'm sorry. rather the first answer. We'll go with that. Sounds a lot better. Ooh, that hurt us. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. Awesome. We'll you do that. Because it'll make us you okay? Look, it'll be easier I'm for kind us. of over we'll humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Not Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. All right, now let's try to get to class. Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Yeah. All right, then. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Okay. So, we have to wait a minute, unfortunately, before we can do what we have to do. Because they won't let us do what we have to do right now. Like today, Samuel. Yeah. Today, please. Here. Nice, bro. Now, let us rewind a bit. Nose ain't bleeding yet. That's cool. So here's what happens first. Camper oh, the paint can. Okay, let's see if this works. Do this with the sprinkler going. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. And the trap is set. Sorry, bit. Okay. No fucking you okay, way! Victoria? Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. 
And we'll just to be, you know, savage. Uh, I guess I'll comfort her. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. Not really. We're just playing it off. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Yeah. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. <laughs> you deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. Oh, that, that was nice mean, of her. But pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. But as soon as again, we're gonna All right, well. cut the episode for now. Thank you for peeps for watching. Hope you hopefully you enjoy. Victoria probably series. played me. I should have played her. And Better get to my Keep on the lookout for the next part. Part 2 will probably come in later this week. But until then, my peeps, take care.